If you don't get anything else out of this video, just remember this. Love don't pay the bills, but it's important in a relationship. And money does not buy loyalty. Do any of you guys remember back in the day when you met a young lady, if you're a guy, you said you were talking. Young ladies, you met this young man you were interested in. You said you were talking. Though there was no actual exclusivity between y'all in a relationship, nothing official. There was just this understood thing, especially amongst your boys, right? Kind of like when you were in high school, if you were interested in a girl, especially if she was the hot girl, your friends knew the layoff, but that all depended upon your social capital. I didn't have very much. I was a nerd. <laughs> so that lets you know what I was limited to. You know, girls are different. Oh, you're talking to so-and-so child, blah, 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 blah. And when I became a young adult, right after I got out of the Marine Corps in 90 and finished up my college, I met my wife and we would go to this coffee shop off of the drag. Now, I know a lot of you young ladies today, you're not down with going to a coffee shop. And it's unfortunate because, you know, depending on the coffee shop, man, you can have a lot of intimate moments where... You guys could just sit down and enjoy each other's company with no strings attached. But my wife and I would go there and this place had an ambience that was just incredible, romantic. We would sit in this booth and we would talk about our dreams, hopes and dreams, future. And I would take her to Town Lake. There was a spot where I used to park at that when the moon hit the lake, it would just reflect off the lake. It was just romantic, beautiful. We would sit in the car for hours and hours and hours and talk. Now, we were in our mid-20s then. And I married her in 1996. Wife up. I said, man, I ain't going to let this one go. But fast forward to today. Woo! Relationships have become so transactional, so transactional to the point to where it's like you're going to you're going on an interview. And the way some of these young people talk about going on these dating apps, which we didn't have back then, we didn't have social media in the 90s. We barely had the Internet, so we didn't. Uh, broadcast every moment of our life like some people do today. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, everything in moderation, right? Everything in moderation. But I guess some people take it too far, but I digress. But anyhow, today, <laughs> some of the, the videos I watch on YouTube, I don't know if they're skits or if they're for real. Uh, ladies saying, I never go on a coffee date. Don't you ever take me to Chili's or the Cheesecake Factory? Who back then, if you went to the Cheesecake Factory, man, you had some ducks. But my wife's favorite joint was IHOP. She loved breakfast. We would go to IHOP and a place called Kirby Lane. No strings attached. We didn't worry about how much money I spent on her. I didn't worry about uh, whether or not... Uh, she could cook clean for me. We just enjoyed each other's company. You know, of course, we knew that, you know, when if you wanted to start a family, and we talked about that a lot, that love isn't all in all. It, it takes a whole lot more than just love, and it takes a whole lot more than just money. And we built our relationship on that, and we eventually got married. But today, <laughs> oh boy, love don't pay the bills and money won't buy you loyalty. And it's always been like that. It's always been like that. But today that message is exasperated and reverberates in the West like a sounding, resounding symbol. Young ladies would not accept certain things. And I'm not saying that y'all should, 
but I think that a lot of you guys are really missing out on some great opportunities. A lot of young men are very disgruntled to the point where I heard about this man going their own way, men just not approaching women. And this is just whole gender battle mess. And I've tried to chime in on some of that stuff to give my two cents, being an elder man that's been married for 28 years to try to give some insight to young men and bring some and bring some balance to some of the young ladies because I think a lot of the young ladies are a little out of touch and some of the men, you know, I think that as men, we could do a little bit better. But it's met with vitriol. <laughs> it's met with vitriol. But the bitter truth is, love, <laughs> love don't pay the bills. It does not pay the bills at all. You could be interested in a person, and y'all have that feeling, that feeling that, you know, you know those butterflies people experience when um, they meet each other. They experience all them crazy butterflies and they think everything is perfect. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Everybody goes through that. Everybody experiences that. Every young man, every young lady. That's how the relationships get started. But that's not how the relationships are solidified and built. They're not built on butterflies. <laughs> They're not built on the feeling. As the relationship progresses, so, so should um, other things. Especially if you're talking about getting married, there should be some conversations had about finances, raising children, um, the lifestyle you want to live. And most people don't do that. That's why when they get into a relationship and both parties have these unspoken expectations and those unspoken expectations are not, you know, met. That's where people can be disgruntled. That's why I'm a, a hard advocate for premarital counseling. I think it's very, very important for people to go to premarital counseling because when you get a third party involved that you could sift through all of this crazy stuff of the feeling, oh, we in love is the feeling. That's what my daughter and her first husband said to me, it's the feeling. And we tried to tell him, no, it ain't the feeling. You know, love don't pay the bills. <laughs> well, you know how that ended. But premarital counseling helps bring balance to your decision. Because wanting to get married, which is very important, is good. It's good for society. It's good for your community. But if you don't have a clear plan, clear goals on how you're going to mitigate your life, then you're going to have problems. And if those problems are not pre-addressed to where you could have tools to work through them, then that's how people end up in divorce. That's how these ladies will file these unreconcilable differences. And then the guys will say she filed a divorce for no reason. Oh, well, there's a reason. It's just that both of you guys fail to address them and premarital counseling if you had any. And one thing that young men need to understand, you can never, ever, ever, ever lead with your wallet. Money does not buy loyalty, guys. I've seen guys give expensive gifts to a woman that they barely know. Now, there's nothing wrong with buying flowers for a young lady. And again, that depends upon the young lady. Today, you really have to understand the women, because some women, they're not into flowers, like how my wife was. But to go and spend just, just exuberant amount, amounts of money on a woman that you're not committed to is ridiculous. And it's creepy. 
you know, because usually there's some strings attached. And when some guys are turned down and maybe the expectations of where they think the relationship should go um, isn't met, they could flip. And this happened. So money will not and never will buy you loyalty, guys. Again, let's repeat this. <laughs> Love don't pay the pills and money won't buy you loyalty. However, both are important. You got to have love in, in the marriage. You got to have it. And love for a man is working hard for his family, providing for his family. But men, you got to temper that with showing your wife to do affection that she needs and spending time with the children because love to them is spending time with them. Right? OK. And you got to be a responsible man. You got to pay the bills. You know, if you both work, because most people have to work together in a home and there's nothing wrong with that, depending on your situation. Um, you got to collect your resources and work together, plan and accomplish dreams and not neglect each other's uh, wants and needs and, their, and embrace each other's differences and come to some sort of a uh, healthy agreement about things, especially if you disagree on some things. But make no mistakes about it. Loyalty comes through being there, being faithful, being consistent, right? It doesn't come by giving money. Anybody can give money. So don't expect loyalty from money. That's why a lot of men get upset when a woman files for a divorce or maybe she steps out because it's like man i was paying all these bills i was doing all this i was doing all that and she gonna do this to me because you thought that you giving money bought loyalty and it doesn't so i'm gonna end this video i've been talking for a minute but if you don't get anything else out of this video just remember this love don't pay the bills but it's important in a relationship and money does not buy loyalty. If you dig what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up so they can help me across these interwebs nets. And if you want to take it a step further, you can watch another one of those videos that's up in that corner and subscribe to my channel if you dig what I'm doing. Until the next time, I will see you on the next one. Peace.